Pesaj Islam, a British doctor working in Idlib, Syria. Right now I'm in Al Shifa Hospital, which is located in Idlib city and funded by One Nation. On average, each patient that we're treating in this intensive care unit is costing 500 pounds. So many children have died unnecessarily because we doctors don't have the drugs and the equipment needed to save them. With your donation, you will enable us to be able to save lives by the permission of Allah. I used to struggle reading the Quran daily before you instructed, instructed me to download this app. I never knew that this app would have such an impact on people's lives. You can go into the description box, click the link for iOS and Android and build your habit with the Quran right now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Hope you guys are well, inshallah. If you guys remember about one or two years ago, I done a video about Halima Aiden, who was a Somali model, you know, um, who done many shoots for many different fashion magazines, whatever it may be. And she talked about her compromising, how she was made to compromise her hijab and made to feel like absolute crap, basically. And she regretted that. Now, this video is basically about a sister. Um, I think it's a Yemeni sister. Uh, may Allah bless her, inshallah. Um, that basically she's done a photo shoot for, I think it's Liverpool, if I'm not mistaken, if it's, it's a Liverpool Football Club or something along those lines. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, and basically, the reason I'm doing this video, I just want to make some clarification. I'm not here to have a go at her. I'm just trying to give advice to any sister who's in the industry of modeling because I do know from what I hear that sisters, girls, they, they're into this whole modeling thing. Yani, they, they, I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's, it's they even like maybe brag to each other, like, you know, I'm doing modeling, etc. I, I don't know why. I don't know why it, that's seen as a yardstick of success. But I'm just doing this video just to give an advice just from the mistakes sister Halima Aiden done as well. Um, so for my dear sister as well here, because um, I just saw this randomly on Instagram and this was one of the comments that I saw, uh, which is basically one of her friends, you know, congratulating it. She was like, okay, good morning to those on the other side of the globe and good afternoon to us and good evening, night, if you are on the other, the other side of the globe. So this morning I woke up to the most beautiful thing to see on social media and that is sister. Uh, making huge moves to all my Yemenis, Yemeniat, can we all please share her video and post it everywhere and be gassed that it's one of our own doing this. And this message sister's name. I am I am rooting for you and cannot wait to see you go further and absolutely smash it. Okay, there's a few things I just want to touch upon because it's very important. Because from this look, I understand. Um, and in the, in, in the photo shoot, she wasn't doing anything, I would say, impermissible per se. Yeah, there might be some kind of free mixing. Etc. But from what I say, like obviously we assume assume the best, and it wasn't that she was addressed inappropriately or I, there was nothing there. I'm just I'm just trying to make this as a bigger picture. I'm not here to necessarily have a go at her for that. I'm just generally saying let's look at the bigger picture, guys. Yeah, here is that, and we see this a lot. It's not just with the Yemenis. It's like Somalis, be it the Kurds, be it the Turks, be it the Arabs. Like this thing of you know when we see someone like for example, I think it was Idris Elba. I think it's Elba. I don't know what his name is. He was married to a Somali. And it's like, it's, and, 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 and the Somali community was like celebrating this. And it's like, that's a kuffar, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken. What is there to celebrate? I don't understand. Like, and the same we would do in our community. If there's somebody who's doing something and we praise it based on worldly affairs. And I'm thinking, what is there to be gassed about? Why do we feel so inferior that we have to feel as if, if Nike came to me and I was like, oh my gosh, Nike, oh my gosh. Who cares? Who cares? Like, this goes for brothers as well, who do things where they're modeling with girls and whatever, etc. it may be. Why? Because it's Nike or it's Armani. Why do we get so fixated and so hyped and gassed about these uh, brands? Who cares? Do you think in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Nike, Armani, Versace, Louis Vuitton mean anything? Why are we doing this? We need to ask ourselves these questions, okay? Are we doing it so we can gas, brag, oh look, you see me on Louis Vuitton, oh you see me on Vogue magazine, or you what the hell is this? A'udhu Billah. Once again, I am not having a go at the sister. I'm looking at a bigger picture. Please, I want to make this very clear. I'm just saying, when we look at sister Halima Aiden's story, look, we can read it for ourselves, yeah? My mom asked me to quit modeling a long time ago. I wish I wasn't so defensive. Sis was literally the only person who had the uh, purest intention for me. The advice she gave me was deen over dunya and her stance has never ever changed. Okay, this is somebody who was a model. He was, he was a model who was giving this advice. So I'm giving advice to my dear sister who are watching this. Wallahi, you guys have so much more to offer the world rather than just your beauty. Yeah? You have so much more to offer. And not only that, when you go to these industries, shaitan has a plan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, do not follow the footsteps of shaitan. Because what happens is, is that it's going to be, is that it's going to come with a simple mere just photo shoot for Liverpool or whatever it may be. And then from there, 
What happens is you're going to go down the spiral route what Sister Aiden went through. Okay, look at this picture with her jeans on her head. She's saying, find your style. And she goes, but this wasn't even my style. It never was. Why did I allow them to put jeans on my head when at the time I had only worn skirt and long dresses? She's saying, jeans is not something I used to wear like on my uh, as trousers, let alone putting it on my hair. Yeah? And this one, she goes, look, I went back to my hotel room and just sobbed after this shot because deep down I knew this wasn't, this wasn't it. I was too scared to speak up. Also a very common struggle when you are the first to do something like what was that hideous green grass thing on my head? Yeah? And this one again, I had to delete this off my page because honestly this wasn't representation. This was mockery and I am so sorry I was too young and naive to see it back then. But at the same time I justified it because look, it's Vogue Arabia. But wrong is wrong no matter how hard you can try to convince it. This is from your elder sister. Sister, um, from this sister uh, Halima Aiden to my dear sisters, whoever's watching it who's in the modeling, yeah? Do not make these mistakes, my dear sisters. Don't go down this route. Wallahi, you will regret it. And like I said again, this sister didn't necessarily do something really bad, you know, except that's free mix and etc. But other than that, the point I'm trying to make is this is a sister who's in the industry and she's telling you this industry do not give a damn about you. They are there to take and take and take. That's all they want from you. And if they're going to compromise your religion, if you feel yourself go into these photo shoots, be you a brother or a sister, and you start noticing for yourself that you are compromising in your deen in the context of Salah time comes, you're even missing Salah. Why? Because Nike manager said, I'm sorry, yeah, you got a lot of photo shoot. Can you do this uh, prayer after? Wallahi, that is the most dangerous thing ever. Can you imagine you are missing your Salah? Why? Because you deem Nike to be like, oh my gosh, Armani, how can I say to the Armani, the manager of Ar Armani, you know, I need to pray. Uh, I know. If you feel this inside your heart, Wallahi, there should be big alarm bells. If you say no to these big names and not at the cost of your religion, and once again, I'm not seeing the sister sac compromise a religion. I'm just trying to make a point here. Wallahi, turn your back. Turn your back. Uqsum Billah, if the biggest brand came to me and told me I want to do this, etc. Like, if it was something permissible, I would say, okay, no problem. It's fine. But if I realize it's something which goes against my religion, and all that, I'll say, you know what? Bye-bye. I don't care if they gave me a million pound check. Our religion, our deen, our Allah. Us proving we should be hyped and gassed. The way this sister is being promoted, like saying, oh, for all the emanations representing hope. No, we should be proud of the sister for observing the hijab. You know, I've said it once and I'll say it again here. Don't change yourself. Change the game. If anything, I want the girls to know Halima took one for the team. You know, I sacrificed my career so that they could feel comfortable to speak up in any setting. I should be like, you know what? This is our Yemeni sister who is wearing the hijab for the sake of Allah. That's where we should big her up. And we should big her up further to seeing that her journey with the hijab or whatever, getting close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be the focus point that hope she gets better at that. Instead of saying, you know what? Hope she, you know, when I'm, uh, like, you know, I'm, not, I'm rooting for you and cannot wait to see you go further and absolutely smash it. I, and this person who wrote that, I understand where they're coming from. I'm not going to go at them, yeah? I would say, you know what? I hope she smashes it with her deen. I hope she smashes it when it comes to the connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'm not saying she's not doing it anyways. All I'm saying is, why don't we use that when it comes to Islam? Why, is it, why do we not look for recognition with Allah? That's all I'm saying, brothers and sisters. And I'll just end uh, with a verse in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, The worldly life is nothing but an illusionary enjoyment. Brothers and sisters, do not be deluded with this life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us firm and focused and allow us to smash it with our Lord and the hereafter, inshallah. May Allah bless this sister once again. I have really, really, I'm not here to have a go at her. And I'm not just saying this because of, you know, whatever reason. I'm saying it because I didn't necessarily see her doing anything particularly wrong. Uh, but yeah, please, bro, my dear sisters, genuinely need to find your true value uh, with your identity of Islam and um, as a Muslim woman. And the same goes for the brothers as well. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.